Richard Schneeman here talking about order in Active Record. So let's jump on over to a Rails console. Okay, here I am in a Rails console and I've got a bunch of products. I can say uh, product, I've got a product model and I can pull a couple of them. I can say product uh, dot limit five. We're only gonna pull back five. All right, so here you can see I've got um, I've got some names, I've got some prices. Now, you know, let's say we're Amazon and we have all of these different products. Some some people are searching for products and maybe they want to order by uh, price. How exactly do we do that? Well, in Rails, we can use order. So we can tell it that we want to order by price. Now when we do this, we can see that our first price is actually going to be nil. So we have a have a item in our database that doesn't have a price. Now, you know, let's take take a look at last. So a price is four. So whenever you use order, and you can actually see here that we are selecting products that star from products, order by price, and we're limiting by five. Um, so if you wanted to see the last price in our database, the highest price, so we've got something that's a $1,000 that, that's in our database. Now, you might say, okay, this is all fine and good. We can order from, uh, in kind of this ascending order, so from nothing all the way up to a thousand. But uh, you know, how can I do it the other way? I want to do uh, the highest price first. So you can say price descending, D E S C. And so if we grab the first element of price descending, it should be a thousand dollars. So there we go. Um, and if you you know want to get really fancy, we can even go ahead and output this. So we can do each, and then x puts x dot price, and you know, well, let's uh, let's limit that. Limit ten. There we go, and you know we can see it starts out at a thousand and is gradually going down. If we wanted to explicitly go in the opposite direction, we can say ascending. So that's going to be ASC. And now we start at nothing and go all the way up to one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That is a quick introduction into how to use uh, how to use order. And you can, as always, check out the dot two SQL if you are confused about um, the SQL that it's building. You can puts that out and it's going to be select products from products order by price ascending so we're really not doing much fancy the the domain specific language that ruby is using here is very similar to the underlying sql so go ahead and try out order now we're going to be using order quite a bit especially when we talk about limit and offset as well as even some some uh, grouping thank you very much for tuning in again my name is richard schneeman